Hello there, I am Giant Quill with more Pokemon Review Redo. In the last part, we finished off the Team Magma Hideout. We battled uh, a lot of Team Magma Grunts. We got the Master Ball, a Nugget, and then we fought two Electrodes for experience. Well, that actually just shoots off the Shrek, so it was always to defeat them. Um, and uh, we battled Team Magma Admin uh, Tabitha again. And uh, Maxi went off with the submarine and stuff, or what the submarine you stole from Captain Stern, I should say. So now we're, um, we also went through, uh, we also went to the water routes, uh, east of, uh, Lake of City, and we're really north of, uh, Moss Deep City right now, so we made some good progress. So who'd have a friend of me? I forget, I have Twitch in front, okay, cool. Let's take on the swimmer. She's swimming laps in a square, of course, cause, like, there's no circles in, uh, Gen this gen this generation three, I guess, because it's just square. It's like you can only move your character up, down, left, or right, basically. <laughs> How would you like to take on a water type Pokemon and I raised? Take on the water type Pokemon I raised? Sure, why not? Let's do it. Let's battle. So this is with my female, uh, Sharon, Sharon Osborne. No, I'm just kidding. Huh? <laughs> they just seem to have the same name. Because the Golden's level the four and female. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna just go for the psychic. So Twitch use psychic please. There we go. And at 1AK was awesome, nice. Easy as pie. Well pi mathematically is like an infinite number that keeps on going. It's 2.14 and then keeps on going with all different numbers. I don't I, I really don't know the number that comes after the four and two point one four. But, uh, there's people who can write out, like, the number digits uh, that come after 3.14 for Pi. So it's pretty interesting. Okay, she's a bunch of Seeking, so she has a Goldeen and a Seeking. The Seeking is level 34 and female, just like the Goldeen, except that it's evolved from a Goldeen. Let's go for another Psychic, see what she does. Hopefully, can we want to carry out or something, that'd be nice. Let's see, oh, it does, want to, it does about a half. If it's a max HP, cool. I'll take it. She's another Psychic then. It's gonna use flail on us, which it did. Um, it's not gonna do much damage though. Yeah, we took it out, so awesome. Twitch is now level 37, awesome. So we defeated some of female Sharon, awesome. I lost, I'm sorry. Don't feel too bad about yourself, it's okay, you'll get better. Thanks for the 272 Poké Dollars. So, oh, and there's another swimmer female, cool. I also already battled her in the last part. I don't think we did though, but you never know. Uh, I'll put a scream up to the front because Smokey with the water type Pokemon right here. I didn't even go somewhere there. Jeez, sorry. Smokey with the fire is a fire type, so it's not the best for like, all these water types here. So he's another swimmer. I'm tired of swimming. Are, we, are you up for battle with me? Sure, why not? I'm up for that. Yeah. This is swimmer female T Tanya. I'm, I'm guessing that's the her name. I love disc. Okay. Um. I guess if you try using Thief on this Lost Disc, it'll try to steal its hard skill if it has one, if it's holding hard skill. So that's pretty interesting. Let's go for the Aerials on this thing, let's use Takedown. It's not going to be very effective though, it only does 6 HP on uh, screen mode, but it's also critical hit, so that it would do less HP normally actually. This Love Disc is level 35 and female, that's pretty cool. Let's go for another Aerials, it's going to use Water Gun now. So now Skimmer's going to use Aerials again, and the Love Disc goes down, awesome. Okay, we defeated some weird female t Tanya. Thank, uh, you have too much, sorry. Thanks for the 560 poker dollars though. And I figured, is there anything up here that I missed? There's a little island you can go to. So I can hit iron this rock or something. It's a big rock, so I don't think it has a hit iron really, but it's good to check. Whatever, okay. Moving on. Let's see here. Oh, here's a, here's a swimmer male. Cool. I heard you were approaching, so I hung around for you. Okay, cool. You must have heard me swimming across the waves with my Pokemon. Er, uh, my Pokemon, my Tentacruel, my Metroid. Surfing around, I guess. Swim with male Cody with like the battle course. She has a star level 34, cool. Let's go for the air race on this thing. A scream can use air race. It's level 34 and gender so okay, that's pretty cool. Let's use Bubble Beam. We're putting that at health, so that's good. Okay, that did a lot, I think 21 HP. So let's get his air card to help finish it off. Yeah, there we go, nice. You have a Wingle next, okay, cool. So you have a Star and a Wingle, cool. So this Wingle's level 34 in male, nice. Let's get his quick attack on uh, Screamo, but only does 1 HP. So that's good for us. Everybody takes it on one hit, awesome. 
Nice. We defeated Super Mario Cody. Awesome. Oh man, I skipped the end dialogue. Sorry. Thanks for 544 Pokedollars though. Always some more incidents on the wall for our secret bases. I think that's all that's up here, so I'm gonna swim back down and see if I missed any trainers, which I probably did. And battle them, I guess, because the experience is your friend, I guess. Oh, here's a sailor. Cool. He might have, like, a fighting type of one, like a Machop or Machoke. Ahoy, I'm buff, tough sailor. I'm, I've braved the world seas. Yeah, well, uh, see, well, let's see if you have a water type Pokemon that possibly could not surf, because you're kind of trapped on this island. <laughs> so how would you be over the seas or whatever you just said? Okay, so yeah, okay, he has a Wingo. Okay, the Wingo's gonna, I think, learn Surf, maybe. I know Polar Purse can, but maybe Wingo's gonna Surf as a Wingo or something, yeah. Let's use Air Ice this thing. It's, uh, level 33 in male, and it goes down one hit. Awesome. Nice. A Tentacle. Okay, cool. Stay in with Skumo. A Tentacle's level 33 in male. Cool. It should be a Tentacle, but who am I to say, hey, you have to evolve your Pokemon. I'm not gonna, I'm not the one to say that, you know. You do you guys, you do you Sailor. Okay, so Sailor Ernest is about to use Machoke. Go stay in. We we'll use Airways on this uh, Machoke because it's be super effective. This Machoke is level 33 in male. So yeah, I'll put in the health. Awesome. This game's revenge. Which I think doubles the power or something. I don't know. Actually cool. I'm not actually sure, but like... It's good if it uses uh, revenge before it get After it gets hit by a Pokemon move. Yeah. We did get some more earnest. Cool. Uh, Goro, I couldn't win. Thanks for the, thanks for the 2,112 Pokemon dollars, man. Don't, don't feel too bad about yourself, though. You had a good fight. Here's another instant the wall for a secret base. There's so many options for a secret base where you can have your secret base. So there's like no excuse to say, oh, uh, there's no options for secret bases. Hey, look, um, here's some twins. Let's see who's in my second slot. It's Metroid. Cool, let's do it. I'm actually gonna give a super potion to, um, to Screamo because Screamo is low on HP and let's just give it a potion too. Nice, okay. It's back at 100 HP, cool. Let's talk to these, I think it's Junior and Senior actually. Kim says, a funny man lives in the Shoal Cave, someone told me. Are you going to see him too? Sure, why not? Now I didn't cover the Shoal Cave in my original Pokemon Ruby Walk to Guide, but uh, yeah. Uh, I think it's like you have to come in the morning for the water to lower and I think uh, later on in the day to uh To maybe it's day and night actually, but um, maybe nighttime raises the I guess nighttime would raise the water because like the moon Raises helps power up the water seas I guess and then the sun when it's the morning or day it, the water lowers. I'm not sure about that because I'm just uh Guessing, but yeah, let's just anyways on the Swabu and surf on both the Pokemon. But I, I'm gonna try to cover the Shulk Cave. But then again, my eternal battery for this uh, ROM is uh, has run dry, so I don't think the clock, the clock bases clock base events don't occur. So if it's clock based, then I probably can't do all of the Shulk Cave. But we'll see. I don't know. We defeated both the Pokemon, Swabu and a, I believe it was a normal. Yeah, it's gonna be good level thirty-seven. Awesome. Nice. We defeated Senior and Junior Kim and Iris. Yeah, I thought we would win. Sorry, but thanks for the 23, thanks for the 2,304 Poké Dollars. Let me check how much money I have right now. Just out of curiosity. I have 14,000, I have four, I have 104,507 dollars. That's pretty cool. Nice. And six gym badges, of course, as you saw on the trading card. So let's switch to us, uh, Metroid, I guess. And let's switch Smokey and uh, Skimo. So four of my Pokemon at level 37, two of my Pokemon at level 36. That's not too bad. So yeah, let's go in the Shoal Cave. Let's see how much I can do with this place, because like, I don't think, I really don't think I can, uh, my pull off. And I really don't think I can, um, cover everything here, but we'll see. Are you planning to go in deep in there? How about bringing me back some, uh, Shoal Salt and Soul Shells? I can make something good if you bring me back to the gates. I don't really make sure, honestly. I haven't, I don't think I've honestly done this challenge, even when I still had a copy of, a of Ruby, my cartridge of copy, my Pokemon Ruby copy, that I showed in my video games that I own series, for my GameCube, for my, not for my GameCube collection, but for my Game Boy Advance collection. So, uh, yeah. And uh, I think my tunnel battery actually ended up running dry for, uh, Pokemon Ruby about maybe two or three years ago. 
Because I remember when I did my original walkthrough guide for it, when I filmed it to my son we reached the camcorder, the tunnel battery wasn't still not dry, so that was good, so the crack face event still occurred. But, uh, we can see if we can catch stuff. Oh man, I should put it on a pill. Okay, we're into the Spiel, which is the pre evolved form of, uh, Celio, and then that Celio is the pre evolved form of Walrin. It's actually good water, I think it's a pure, it might be a pure ice type, but I think it's actually water ice type. It's actually a pretty good Pokemon, I've never used it before though, but you can catch one here. If you're looking, still looking for a water type, I guess you could give it a shot. I haven't used one before, so I don't know how good it is, but it looks like, if you're patient with evolving into Walrin, because I think it evolves at elite level, then, uh, you could, you, you could give it a shot if you want. I'd, I'd probably use a spiel, I guess, for a playthrough at least once. But I already have a tentacle, so... That's water in the bridge now for that, I guess. Um, let's use a super repel. Yeah, or a max repel. No, let's use a super repel, because we're trying to run out of super repels. We use all of them, I should say. So, yeah. Is there an item over here? Hidden item? I guess not. Okay, whatever. It probably is. It could probably use the item finder to find one, but... I'm kind of lazy, I just kind of want to move on. Let's see here, let's go up here. Okay, is there an item over here? Nope, okay, but there's another entrance, cool. Um, okay, we're up here. Um, I'm just kind of exploring, I've never really actually been through here, because I also, I also didn't know how to get here. I kind of can't be surprised that I found the short cave, but I just go north of a moss deep city. Yeah, we got a suit, we got a soul shell, nice. Awesome, and then there was a blue right here, but then we picked it up, so it's like a little blue. Uh, like it looks like there's a little bit of water in that rock, but now, because there was a blue circle, I think that was the, the soul shell, or whatever it was called. So yeah. Here's another item, it's a uh, soul shell again. See, it's like blue right now, but when we pick it up and put it on our bag, it goes, it would take it off out of the rock thing. I honestly don't know what that guy makes us if we get all those two shells and uh, s uh, whatever the other thing he said to collect. Our repel off, so let's put another repel on. We have 10 super propels after this, cool. Oh, there's an item over there, nice. Let's try to get it. Yeah, let's get it, let's get it, let's see what it is. Let's see, what is it? It's a rare candy, awesome. So we have 15 rare candies now, awesome. So this is already worth picking going in here because we got another rare candy. Jeez, we have 15 rare candies. That's awesome. I don't think I don't think I've ever had 15 rare candies in a playthrough of Pokemon Ruby before. So that's a new high for me. Awesome. Here's another item. It's one of the social, it's the social right? That we got nice. Cool. So we have three of those now, I think. Okay, let's see. Oh, here's an item. Nice. It's a big pro. We can sell that Pokemon for big money. I'm gonna hop over the ledge here and see what we can find here. And uh, let's see what around here. Is there an item here? I guess not. Looks like there'd be an item here, but I guess not. But again, maybe if I use my item finder, but I'm kind of lazy. I don't really want to use my item finder. So, oh, here's the, here's the beginning of the um, cave, actually. So for right now, let's give us the soul cells that we got so far. Yeah, oh yeah, let's just look for a soul shalt. Cool. Um, yeah, I'm gonna see every day. Um, do you want the ones I got? I can make a, make a shell bell. Okay, I think a shell bell might, uh, I think it's, it'll raise the happiness of a Pokemon if a Pokemon is holding it. So if you like evolving, trying to evolve a gold band or core, for example, it evolves by happiness, then you want to give it a shell bell, I guess, because I think that raises Pokemon's happiness if it's holding the item. You can get these ingredients every day. Okay, maybe, I think maybe the soul shells come back, come back every day, but again, since my eternal battery on this ROM is, uh, has run dry, I don't think it can come back every day and I get it, cause, and I don't think the water can raise it lower. Let's go to, let's go up with that way one more time before we actually leave, cause, uh, yeah. I don't think we can actually complete this side quest, which kinda stinks, but that's okay. But we did get a rare candy, so it's actually worth coming in here, actually, in my opinion, at least. Let's go up that area one more time. I think I may have missed an area where like we saw a ladder that we could go into. Like that ladder for example. Um was that a hidden item right here? Guess not. I thought that was. Oh well. So yeah. A juice again. 
I really like the surfing music in Pokemon Ruby Sapphire and it's awesome. Let's show. Ooh, nice. It's either gonna be a soul shell or a soul bell. Show a uh, shell or something. What it, let's see what it is. It's a soul shell. Nice. I'm pretty sure those items grow back every day. Like he said, come back every day for the ingredients. So I'm guessing they grow back every day. Okay, let's see. What's over here? Did I go down from here? I don't think I did. Is there an item here? That sentence that came out top over the ledge and stuff. We got the brick pearl and stuff. Um, I don't really want to take all the time looking for this uh, possible hit item. So I'll just move on, actually. But how do we get to, uh, that, the bridge in that, uh, water right there? Maybe I'm not going the right place. Maybe the water has to rise or something for me to get there. I'm not even sure. But that's just my guess. Let's see, with Pulse Effect Wolf, okay. Oh, we already went over, over there. Um, so did I really cover all the place? Oh, like, did I cover it right here? Let's put another pawn before I forget. Very, it's super positive. This okay, cool. I think it also has to do again with the water rising and the lowering. So that's probably what I'm missing out on. But that's okay. I don't think we can get up there though, with the bridges and stuff. So that kind of stinks. Cause I think the water, when it rises, it's like, it'll like flood the area, so you can actually access higher points to get to the bridges and stuff right there. But for me, I don't have, okay, I, okay, this is the last time I'm gonna say it. The tunnel battery on this room has run dry, so the clock base events do not occur. So, I'm kinda uh, lost for that, but that's okay. We got a rare candy, so that's good enough. Um, did I go over there? I think I already did, cool. So let's actually get out of this little cave, cause, yeah. On to bigger and better things. So we're starting about 125. Cool. Let's see. It's in the office secret base. Jeez. So many of those around Hoenn. So many. Did we battle this, um, swim mail? I guess. I don't think we did. But at least we have Metro Defense just checking. So let's take him on. Hey there. Check out my sweet Pokemon. Cool. We will. Nice. Oh, I will. Yeah, this is swim mail. Stan. Stan from Dog with a Bog. On Disney Channel's Dog with a Bog. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Let's get the Sludge Bomb on this horse. It's level 25 in mail. So yeah, Sludge Bomb hits. So let's see how much fancy one hit. Nope. Okay, puts in the deep, uh, uh, puts in the deep yellow. Now, I wish you much better had the ability to clear body. So like, that way, it wouldn't, wouldn't have any stat loss from like, moves like Smoke Screen, for example. So that kind of stinks. But Sludge Bomb still hits. So that's good. There we go. Nice. Cool. We defeated Swimmer Mail Stan, awesome. I found it. I found it right, I think is what she said. Cool. Thanks for 200 day Pokemon always. Don't feel too bad, man. You'll get better. Through time. And training and hard work. So yeah. I have a pulse effect off, of course. Let's use another super bow. We have seven super bows after this. Awesome. Cool. Now I'm in Moss Deep City again. I might as well just get off my Pokemon and go down. Go to Moss Deep City. Yeah, I think, uh, Again, I think I showed off the house where you can give the guy the hunter's house. I think his, his name might be Hunter. Is he's just the hunter, I guess, or no, it's not that, I don't know. But he gives you uh, items if you give him shards or something. So yeah, here's Moss Deep City, or uh, another place we can uh, uh, the place where we can get a seventh gym badge. And uh, let's see up our Pokemon real quick. And do I have to store any items on my PC real quick? Just might check. Um, let's see. Uh, I'll, I'll show you the four show souls that I have actually. And I can also sell the big part with the Pokemon, so that's awesome. Let's do that. I'll be right back. Okay, so. My droid stuff front, okay, just checking. Because I forgot who's the front actually. That's why I checked. One of these houses is Stephen Stone's house, I believe. Yeah, here's Stephen Stone, by the way. Right on cue. Stephen. Uh, yes, this is my place. I'm here. I'm a little embarrassed how empty it is here. Oh here, you should take this HM. It contains dive. It already taught, I already taught my Pokemon. So HM08 dive. We're gonna teach that to our HM slave, our, um, other tentacle that we call, which I forget what we named it. Diver. Oh, we named it Diver. Cool. Nice. While well, you're using Surf, you can, you should notice dark patches of the water I pointed out, actually, on the way here to my Steep City. Uh, use Dive if you come to deep for, deep water. Like it, you'll drop to the sea floor. When you come back, when you want to come back, use dive again. Well, why would you, what, how, why would you use dive again to come back to the surface? 
if you want to be diving more deep in the water, I don't know. It's whatever. Um, in some places, it won't be possible for you to, to, to surface, though. Interesting, yeah. That's true. So, I think this is like his secondary home. Or maybe it's his home. Maybe he lives on Moss Deep City. I think he's a resident of Moss Deep City, probably. I don't know for sure, but uh, we can take on the gym if we wanted to right now. Um, I'll wait on it for a second. We'll wait till the next part, honestly, because I'm already at 21 minutes for this recording. For this video, I should say. Uh, let's see, let's sell the Big Pearl and go shopping, actually. So the Big Pearl will get, ooh, it's up for $3,750 Poké Dollars, awesome. It's a deal. Nice, okay, let's go shopping at the Pokemon now. Let's see what we can buy. Let's buy, um, four more Ultra Balls. Ooh, Net Balls, awesome. We'll buy, like, five of those, actually, because they're really good. They're $1,000 a piece, but I think it'll be worth it. Um, Dive Ball, let's buy two more of those. Um... Hyper Potions, let's buy five more of those. Full Heals, let's buy three more of those. Revives, let's buy three more of those, actually. And finally, Max Repels, yeah, let's buy, um, let's buy five more of those. And then I'll buy X Attack, so I'll skip out on those, yeah. Is there anything else you can help me with? Nope, okay, please come again, thanks. So let's check out our bag, see what our status with all our items is. Let's just go from the top. So we have, uh, 6 full stories, 16 hyper potions, 17 super potions, 11 potions, 17 full heals, 17 revives, 3 escape ropes, uh, 26 max repels, 7 max super repels, 6, 4 to short pop, 4 soda pops, not short pops, jeez. Okay, 1 yellow fruit, 1 blue fruit, 1 red fruit, 15 red candies, 2 energy powers, which is actually need to use, um, 2, three revival herbs, and 2 energy, which is what we also need to use. So yeah, and then close bag. <laughs> okay, cool. So, I think there's also the space station here. I don't think you have to do anything there, but an emerald, you battle team magma there with Steven Stone, which is cool. You double battle and you can only select two Pokemon to fight with. You can't use all six of your Pokemon, which I think is a good challenge, I guess, because Steven Stone will use three of his Pokemon, and then you have to choose three of your Pokemon to use in the battle. So yeah, here's a netball, another netball. Let's see how many Pokeballs we have now. Actually, I forgot to check that. So let's see here. Um... We have 14 Pokeballs, 13 Great Balls, 19 Ultra Balls, uh, 1 Master Ball, one di 3, three Diet Balls, excuse me, uh, 2 Net Balls, 2 Nest Balls, um, 1 Repeat Ball, and 6 Net Balls now. Awesome. Cool. Um, I think there's a hit item in one of these rocks coming up. There's a white rock. Okay, maybe it's not that rock, actually. Um, is this the, uh, the fisherman that gives you the Super Rod? I think it is. Awesome. Hey, they train a super is really super. Shh, say, say all you want about, say all you want, but this baby can catch Pokemon off the sea floor. It's actually the best of the rods, actually, in this game. What do you think? You want it, don't you? Yes, of course. You bet, you bet. After all, the super rods really great or something. I forget. I just kind of skipped the last part of this dialogue. Sorry. Okay, cool. If there's any water, that, that try dropping your rod and see if who what bites. Now, with the super rod, I know you can catch, uh, if you fish around Moss Deep City, you can catch, um, you can run into, I should say. Um, Sharpedo, which is a really good water type Pokemon. It's a water dark type itself from a Carvana, which we've seen from Team Magma and other trainers who have it. And then there's also Wormer, the pre evolved from a Whale Lord, which you need a Wormer to do something in the game later on. So, keep that in mind. So, I'm gonna fish for Wormer now. Okay, let's watch our interview on Gabby with Gabby and Ty, I guess. And search your trainers. Gabby says, Hi, I'm visiting an area on your route 100, near 120, Route 120. Uh, we're trying to spot up and coming new talent in the field. Today we really turned our lenses on to the trainer Steven. There's something about this trainer that piqued our interest. We battled Steven before, but we can attest that the trainer has most definitely improved from back before. I knew we were onto someone special when we spotted this trainer. The best way to determine how strong a trainer is, well, is the fastest way to battle, and also we began our investigation. I think I messed with the last part of the dialogue. Uh, that's how we ended up in our battle with Steven. In a dominating performance, we were flattened, rolled up, and tossed aside. Steven is really strong. Thanks, guys. Uh, we we asked Trainer for a suck in fuck sucked in a summit summation of a battle we shared. I lost confidence in myself as a result of, of our encounter. Don't feel bad, Gabby. You'll get better. Uh, we were beaten before we could launch in a single attack. Oh, sniffle. Ah, oh, man, I kind of feel bad now. In spite of that, Steven's battles, uh, are worth seeing. 
I recommend confident trainers to kind of challenge Steven. After a battle, we asked Steven for a second, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that word, wild summary. Uh, the, po the trainer replied, wild. Uh, Steven's Pokemon grow wild in Hariyama and wild. Hmm, that's deep, that's deep. That's deep, there's deep significance behind that quote. It's no surprise that a good trainer has a good, th good things to say. That's all for today. See you again on our next broadcast. Now, I won't probably, be, I won't probably watch the TV again for this broadcast, but you can if you want. I think if you go back to, uh, the north, the route was north of, uh, uh, Marvel City, where you have to use Rock Smash, right after that is where we first met, uh, Gabby and Ty. If we go back there, we can actually rematch them, and she might actually, Gabby's Ty, Gabby's, uh, lounger might actually be our ex partner by now. But, I don't know. Um, and then, you know, Ty's Magnemite stays a ma Magneton, or not Magnemite, but Magneton stays a Magneton. Because Magnezone didn't evolve, didn't exist till I think Generation 4. So yeah. It's awesome. I think there was something I wanted to do after we taped, we read that, we watched that TV, but I'm really forgetting. I'm drawing a blank. But, uh, here's a space station, or space center, I should say. Must Deep Space Center, the closest place to space. That kind of rhymed. The closest space to space. I don't think there's really anything you can do in here, but maybe if we go to the top floor, there's something. Uh, let's talk to the scientist. Actually, I don't think the other trainers are point below here. Let's talk to the scientist. A uh, moss deep has mainly sunny weather, and it's wild and stable. Wait, I forget. I'm probably misread that. Something, something stable. Um, it's a ideal location for launching rockets. Yeah, again, an emerald, you actually come here to stop Team Magma. Trying to, I think they're trying to use a rocket to get to the moon or something, or something weird like that. But, uh, and we've been suffering, we've been suffering, I don't think you have to worry about that. So we'll move on. So, I wanna actually go and try to catch a Whelmer. So, I'm gonna register my, uh, Super Rod. I don't think I registered back the Mach I didn't actually, so it's still registered the Good Rod. So yeah, but let's register the Good Super Rod, cause we can try to catch a Whelmer and stuff. Who do I have up front again? I forget. I have Metroid, cool. So, uh, I have plenty of Pokeballs, I know that. And if you surf around here and use, uh, your Super Rod, you can actually catch a Wormer or, uh, or a, um, Sorpedo. Okay, we got a bite, nice. Fish on! I only took two of them, so let's see what it is. A Sharpedo, nice. Very different experience, I guess. The Sharpedo is level 30, and female, cool. Let's go for the, um, Sludge Bomb, I guess. And this thing probably has rough skin, so after we faint it, I'll probably be, I'll use rough skin, I think. Um, we might as well try to catch this thing just for, just to have it, I guess, so, why not? So let's give, let's just use an Ultra Ball on it, honestly. Because again, I have way more Ultra Balls than, I have more Ultra Balls than Great Balls and Poke Balls. So let's use an Ultra Ball. Let's see if we can catch this thing. We could also use a Net Ball, but, I don't know. Well, maybe we want to use a Net Ball, actually, because it just, it didn't even shake once while, it's on the red health, so I can't understand. Let's use a Net Ball. It's good on uh, catching bug and water type Pokemon, so yeah, let's give it a shot. One, two, three. Yeah, we caught the Sharpedo, awesome. Nice. Awesome. Sharpedo's caught the day I was out of the Pokedex, awesome. Uh, it's number 98 in the Hoenn Dex, it's the name of Sharpedo, it's the brutal Pokemon. It's, uh, the height is five, it's five feet of five inches tall. That's the same height as, uh, Yaddy and Molina of the St. Louis Cardinals. Yeah. Okay, so... He weigh, it weighs 195 pounds. It's a, uh, you'd think it'd have, it would have a footprint like it's fin, but I guess since it's not like a foot, it doesn't count as a footprint because there's nothing in that circle where the footprint would be. Nicknamed the boy of the sea, Sharpedo is widely feared. It's, it, it, it's cool fangs grow back immediately if it's, uh, snapped, if they snap off. Oh, that's kind of dark. <laughs> um, just one of those, one of these Pokemon can, Tough, uh, thoroughly tear apart a ship tanker, a super tanker. Interesting. What's um? Does the nickname Sharknado fit? Cause uh, that's a sci-fi movie that a series that they made about shark about shark movies. It's like a mix between a tornado and a shark, and a bunch of sharks apparently. Shark. I think it does fit. I'm hoping I'm spelling this right, but if I don't spell it, that's fine. Sharknado. I don't think I spelled this right, but maybe. Sharknado was sent to the PC. Sharknado. <laughs> Looks like Sharknado is how, you spell, how I spelled it. Okay, let's try to find a Wilmer now. Oh, bite, yes, okay. Fish on. Okay, not fish on yet. One, two, this is the third time. Four, oh, this has got to be the Sharpedo of Wilmer now, definitely. Fish on now, haha. Oh, Sharpedo, of course. 
Because one's level 30 and female 2, of course. We'll fade this one for experience, I guess. Let's go for the surf attack on this thing. It's going to be very effective because it's also a pure water type. It's a water dog type, but that's okay. Uh, did a little bit over half, so that's good. Let's get Crunch on Sharpedo. I'm not Sharpedo, but Metroid. Let's go for the Sludge Bomb after this. This should knock it out. Let's see if it does. It does. Awesome. And this is a good place to train with these, uh, shark uh, Sharpedos, I guess. So, yeah. Let's try to find a win where I'm already at 31 minutes in recording time, so I gotta do this quickly. Come on, give me the big money. Win more, win more, win more. Okay, let's do this. Okay, four. This is the fourth time I have to press A. Fish on! So let's see. Let's just win more. Okay, cool. Please be high level. Okay, it's level 33, so let's actually take um, a uh, little while to uh, evolve it. Evolve is level 40, so it's 7 levels. So not swimming, it's level 33 in male. Uh, female, I should say. Let's look at Sludge Bomb on this thing. Uh, you'll need a whale ward for uh, something later on in the game. So, yeah. Ooh, it poisoned. Awesome. So, yeah, it's gonna use Wild Pulse on Metro. It's not gonna be very effective, though. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Let's see here. Um. Let's choose, let's actually switch out because I can think I can put it in the red salt with just to be hurt by poison again. Um, let's go for the Geico, I guess, because Geico resists like water type moves, like water pulse that it has, I believe. So yeah, let's get his Astonish. Okay, cool. It's gonna be hurt by the poison again. So I really want to try to catch it now before it faints itself with the poison. Let's use the net ball. Yeah, let's try this out. So here we go. One, two, Three, and we caught it. Awesome. Nice. One more was caught. Nice. One more data was out of the Pokedex. Awesome. Okay, so one was one was ninety nine in the po in the Hondex. His name is Wimmer. It's a babe, it's a ball wheel Pokemon. It's way its height is six foot seven. It's six foot and seven inches tall. So the same height as Adam Wimmer of the St. Louis Cardinals. Yeah. So it weighs uh, two hundred eighty six point six pounds. Um, Wimmer's nostrils are located above its eyes. Interesting. I think that they'd be like eyebrows or something, you know? Uh, it's, it's playful. This playful Pokemon loves to startle, uh, startle people by forcefully snouting, uh, out sea water it stores inside its body outside of its nostrils. So a better, like a not, a, like a more positive and, uh, happy Pokedex compared to, you know, Sharpedo saying that it thoroughly, you know, destroyed a super tank or whatever it was. Give it to me more. Uh, let's name this, uh, let's name this guy, um, let's name this guy Big Blue. Cause when one more evolves, it's really big and it weighs a lot, actually. So let's name this Big Blue. And it's also a Big Blue from, like, f uh, f f Zero, but that's like a, Racing game, so let's just name it Big Blue because it's blue when it evolves and it's big when it evolves. So Big Blue fits, that's awesome. Big Blue, nice. Big Blue was sent to the PC, nice. So off screen, I'm going to train up all my Pokemon up to level, let's see here. What level do I train up all my Pokemon? I'll train all my Pokemon up to level 42, I believe. Yeah, 40 is a good level. And, um,. Also, I'll train on my Wilma off screen to level 42, so that next time you see my Wilma, it's actually going to be a Wild Ward. It's going to be, uh, it'll evolve, it evolves again at level 40, like I said before. I won't show the evolution because I don't think it's not really needed, since it's not like a permanent team member or anything. So it's be, it'll be a Wild Ward by the time the next time you see it, so you actually won't see the back sprite, back sprite of it being like a Wild Ward if, or Wilma if I want to evolve into a Wild Ward, if it does end up battling somehow. So yeah, so Metroid will grow 6 levels to level 42, Smokey will grow 6 levels to level f uh, 42 as well, and then Screamo, Twitch, Geico, and Fido will also great grow 5 levels up to level 42. So yeah, since so then I want to put my PC before you help, help my Pokemon, I'm going to do the off screen too by the way, along with uh, putting anything in my PC, that I need, if I need to put anything in my PC. I don't think I put anything in my PC, cool. So yeah, I'm gonna the part right here. So in the next part, I'll start right here in front of the sign right here of the uh, Mass Deep City Gym. And I'll take on the gym in the next part. So yeah, so this has been Jaco again. The, so this has been number four one. We'll be redoing really the part. The next part, we'll do just that. So this has been Jaco again. I would like to wish you goodbye. And I'll just see you guys next part. My Pokemon will be redo walkthrough guide.